Oh my god, that looks horrible. Hold on. I do that to y'all all the time. Oh my god, that's even worse. Anyway, so y'all don't need to see how shitty I look right now. So I'm kind of appreciating this light. Oh, my, can't. my TV just made it worse. So anyway, I'm just sitting here chilling. I don't know what time it is. Anyway, so just wanted to talk about like the little drama stuff that's in. I haven't done one of these types of videos, guys, in literally a hot minute. It's, it's been a bit. It, it's been a moment. So anyway, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So it's been a hot minute since I've done one of these types of videos. And just, you know what I've seen so much that has been mentioned again? is John cooking. Oh my lord. We need to get off this fool. We just need to... There's so many people, and the thing that just trips me out, it, it really trips me out, but it just goes to show you that how people are ever so different. It really does go to show you that, you know, people's perception or their thought processes is just totally different, and it really boggles my mind. And, you know just a medical thing the human mind and doctors still don't understand you know um it's just like one of those it's like the deep abyss ocean like you can never discover the whole damn thing on a serious note i don't get at all why anybody still watches john cookian's videos i don't get why at all he's still relevant I don't get at all how he continues to have a channel and, and people watch him. I don't understand. I mean, I know there's always opinions about different things and whatever, and I get that. Um, but when you see so many videos, so many people with the same exact thing telling you this guy... Or this person is bad news you think it would click but no you still get your people that watch them and support them and I I, I don't know what types of people they are but I seen beauty with with Ashley's like kind of series that she made on John Cookian and um, not surprised that he took advantage of a person and he shit and rained on their parade you know I get it and um, we can talk about it, we can report on it, but let's be real, next month he's going to do something else that's really stupid, so don't mind my blankie. It is hot as hell in my house. So I think that's why I can't sleep. Anyway, so I just want to tell you guys, I have officially like kind of overworked myself a little bit. I ended up... Um, I went to work. I was off Monday, finally, and it's been a hot minute since I've been off, let me assure you. And Tuesday I went into work, and um, I, Tuesday morning I didn't feel good at all. I, I didn't, and I knew something was wrong, and I hadn't had this happen to me for a long time, so I was kind of pissed. But anyway, um, I had what they call... I get, like, orthostatic. Orthostatic is, is when you have a significant blood pressure dip when you go from a standing or from a sitting to a standing position and um, I knew it was bad I you know and I went to work anyway like a dumbass um, and I could not finish my shift I, I had to leave I had to go and yeah I got a little bit of a spank from the doctor and stuff so yeah I get it so I am off for two days you know to rest and kind of get myself back to being organized Sometimes, you know, when you don't take time for you, like, I'm just doing a lot of things between working a lot and finishing up and because mom's benefit is August 18th, so I'm trying to, you know, sometimes I don't realize that I'm 42 years old and my body's like, bitch, just, just, just you're, you're too old for this shit. And I don't like to listen because I don't like to admit my age. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to <laughs> be like I'm in my 20s. Anyway, back to the drama bullshit. Now... So I seen John Cookie and all pissed off and whatever, which is funny, about um, Rich Lux and the Jeffree Star thing. I get it. 
Um, and he was saying, you know, the things that he said about Jeffree Star and whatever. Yeah, people say stupid shit. I totally get that. But then I watched today, because I've been off work and I've been really watching, like I've been binge watching on YouTube and I'm like, what the bananigans is going on? Martin Lewis, dude, what? I mean, he's the one, Martin Lewis is a little bit too all over the map, so I don't follow him too closely, you know, because he talks about people that I have no damn idea of, and this lighting is fun, isn't it, peeps? The news is on. That's what y'all see in glare, glare. Anyway, so I, I, he, he does a whole bunch of different people that I don't follow, so I, I am subscribed to him just to, you know, watch some of the like if he comes out with something that i do see or somebody that i know and follow okay yeah i'll click and watch on the video did you see his video on rich lux guys did you see that shit i'm like now normally i don't usually disagree with martin Lu i normally don't because i thought it was a shitty thing that would happen to him and i know he went through a whole big thing not that long ago where he had his channel taken down and he had to fight to get it back and stuff and that was pretty cool and he's an all right person to me however this is the first time i really sincerely disagreed with martin lewis first time and not because i'm like i always said i remember my like way back videos i would say you know i hate talking about rich lux because his subs will come for you like there's no tomorrow they will come for you. Now, I, I'm not one of those people. I love Rich Lux, but I'm not coming for people up in the comment sections and shit. I'm not doing all them shenanigans. I just have a disagreement. That's all. So anyway, he said in his video that I completely 100% disagree with is um, that Rich Lux didn't really own up or apologize for any of his shit. I'm sorry. Did you miss that video? I didn't miss that video. I mean, I seen that video and I, that's where I kind of, you know, and I'm one of those moms, I got five kids and you know, you know when the kids are putting on the Ritz and they're messing with you and you know when someone is genuine. But I seen the video and that is what completely made me do a 360 about how I felt about Rich Lux. <clears throat> um when i mean the first one i didn't really like that much because he still had his makeup on and everything and i figured if you want to come out and you want to show that you're real just take off the glam and just be you for a hot minute just just be you for a minute and he did that and when he did that second video he was just so sincere you just can't fake that shit you know so that's where i knew okay he's definitely whatever he had or whatever was going on he was apologetic He's like, this is not my friend. Even though they were friends, he's like, no more. I had nothing to do with this bullshit, and he is not my friend anymore. Yeah, they were friends. How many of us had friends that did some shit that we just don't disagree with, and we just ran from them? We're like, you know what? Nope. You're, 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 I'm done with you. He cut his ties with John Cookian. That's what he did. <laughs> so anyway, I really disagreed with Martin, you know, Martin Lewis. I completely disagreed because... He says, well, he didn't apologize to his subscribers. Yes, he did. I mean, how the hell did he miss that video? I mean, jeez. Maybe he didn't miss the video. He probably just doesn't remember it. So I think Martin Lewis needs to do a little bit more soul searching and, and scrolling down the YouTube channel before. That's just my opinion. But I think Rich definitely was tied in with John Cookian. We all know they were friends. But when John Cookian went like... When John Cookian jumped off the bridge, his friend did not follow. You know, remember that old, you know, saying that mom told you, if your friend jumps off a bridge, are you going to jump with him? You no. Know. Well, I did. I jumped off the black bridge. That shit was fun as hell. But, I, <laughs> but I'm talking, <laughs> you know, um, we have this thing in our neighborhood, and oh my God, it's still there. And, and hilariously, like, my kids did it too. I'm like, you know, I told my kids, don't you do that. And I'm sitting there in the back of my head knowing I did it and I know the hell they're going to do it. But I had to be the mom and say, don't do that. It's very dangerous. And I'm sitting there in the back of my head. I did it. I know. <laughs> but anyway, in our neighborhood, we have like these fields and these creek and this um, train tracks or whatever. And we have this thing. It's called the Black Bridge. 
and people cross this bridge and they should not cross this bridge because it's got like the little planks missing and shit and you know we jump off the black bridge you know so yeah anyway so I had to tell you guys that little funny goofy story but um so Rich Lux didn't jump off the bridge with John Cookie and he was like you know what dude you, you on your own you, bye bye Felicia I'm gone I mean that's what it was so I think Rich has grown significantly as a person and then he was talking shit oh my god I don't know what Rich has in his like um description box or anything like if you want to donate to their channel or whatever and then he showed him a picture with like his um you know you know he loves his Gucci his bags or whatever and you know I, I don't get he's like well uh, what did he say I don't want to misquote people because I hate misquoting people or giving wrong information so if I'm wrong I apologize but, you know, we kind of came at him for, like, you're taking money from your subscribers or asking money from your subscribers, and you got this Gucci shit, and Margo Indigo is, I guess, now on a Rich Lux binge thing, too. I don't give a shit. Um, but I, I do watch them, but I disagree. I mean, we all have our opinions, and if somebody makes a video about someone that you like, you know, it's okay to disagree with them. It's not like I'm coming at him saying he's a bad person or whatever. I just think he needs to fact check a little bit more. I think he needs to do that. And, you know, we know Rich Lux loves his Gucci and shit like that. And if that's what he loves, who gives a shit? If people donate to his channel, fine. And you know why they donate to his channel? Not because they think he's poor. Because they like him, you know? It's like if you go, I look at it like this way. If you go and, and, and you buy tickets for someone that you like to see, that's okay. Like, if you buy tickets for your favorite band or whatever, or say, you know, like you have a comedy place, you know, in your city or whatever, and you buy tickets to go see your favorite comedian or a comedian, your local comedian or someone that's coming in, okay, that's what you do. So if you want to give Rich Lux money to support his channel because you like his content, that's clearly up to you. I don't think, I don't get where they were trying to, you know, I thought it was a little bit of shade. I did think it was just a little bit of shade. Oh, damn, it got dark in here real quick. But you guys don't need to see me. But I thought it was a little bit of shade on Martin Lewis's part. I, I just did not like his video. I didn't like kind of where he was going, and I didn't like the picture that he painted of Rich Lux. I, I, I just didn't like that. Um, cause, whatever. If people send us channel money, whatever. Do you ever, or it's kind of like when you go into somebody's live stream and you'll like send them like the super, or you, or like the you now, and you send them like the super chats or whatever the hell they call it, or super chats on YouTube. I've done that for some of my favorite YouTubers. Why? Because I enjoy their content and I like them. I, I mean, shit. So what? Anyway, moving on from that. I just had to go on that rant, guys. I really did. So, I was just kind of, you know, anyway, feeling the burn. But John Cookian will never change. I don't know why he still has subscribers. I don't know why people still watch his videos. And I certainly have no idea why anybody falls for his bullshit. And the fact that he made a video that said, I want you to adopt me, and this couple did, it's just like... I would like to go through, and this couple was very nice. They did something for their favorite YouTuber, whatever. That is wonderful, you know. That's great. But I'm just sitting there wondering, what was going through your mind to think that a guy this age, because he said, I know I'm too old to adopt. I, I don't know where their thought process was, you know. I, I don't get it. I mean, what happened to them was shitty or whatever but i'm not one to judge somebody's thought process again because we'll get back into the mind is an abyss the mind is like the universe you'll never understand or see the whole damn thing you just won't you just won't do it so anyway that is my little drama video of the day and the fact that i completely disagreed with freaking martin lawrence's video Martin Lawrence. Oh my God, Martin Lawrence. You know, I love Martin Lawrence. He's funny as hell, comedian. Love him. Anyway, Martin Lewis. Sorry, Martin. Anyway, hugs and kisses to you all. And if you didn't catch the, you know, Martin Lewis video, maybe hop over there and watch it and then you'll get what my rant is about. Kisses.
I got, you know, kids, I keep fucking up these endings. I'm not going to.